Guilty of all charges in one of the biggest trading frauds in history. Trader Jerome Kerviel faces three years in prison and must repay damages of 4.9 billion euros. His employer, Societe Generale, one of Europe's biggest banks, was cleared of wrongdoing. His lawyer called the sentence totally unreasonable. One of the world's greatest economists, John Galbraith, said of the 1929 crash that when it went well, no one saw anything. But when it went wrong, someone had to be responsible, a single person. And today, that one person is Jerome Kerviel. The former trainer has been convicted of breach of trust, forgery and entering false data into computers at Societe Generale. His defence argued management at the bank had turned a blind eye to his huge bets in the quest for profit. But they were exonerated. The presiding judge said Curviel exceeded his mandate on a gigantic scale without the bank's knowledge. A ruling that pleased its lawyers. It's actually the recognition that Société Générale was not in on the system of fraud put in place by Jérôme Curviel and that it had no knowledge of the organisation of lies, systems, falsified documents and everything that Jérôme Curviel used to fool his chain of command. Jérôme Curviel told the court he now earns €2,300 a month as an IT consultant, which means that with his salary it would take him more than 17,000 years to pay the damages. For now he's a free man as his lawyers launch an appeal. But some believe he's been made a scapegoat for a banking industry that was taking too many risks.